The Toronto real estate market is diving into an even deeper buyer's market this July, but that's not actually a big surprise since it's all over the news. But here is where it does get interesting. While Toronto houses have seen significant price drops over the past couple of months, Toronto condos, which are showing much weaker market signals, have yet to correct much yet. So does that mean the house market is actually weaker than the condo market? Well, not exactly. Toronto houses have been more reactive to weaker conditions for sure, but they're actually a lot lower risk after the fact, which means that condos are the opposite, much riskier today. And we'll break down all of this for you in this video. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Toronto real estate investing insights. When you compare sales to new listings, this number is getting lower in all markets, and that means that we are entering a deeper buyer's market. But once you break it down more, house prices have dropped around 10% from May of this year to July of this year because of this weaker market. The situation actually looks a lot worse for Toronto condos, but prices haven't really taken a big hit there yet. It seems like condo sellers are trying to hold on to the higher prices, and that's why many, many condos are just sitting on the market these days. Realistically, if we want to see more balance in the condo market with the sales balancing out new listings better, prices will have to fall more here in the condo side and this very low sales to new listings reading for Toronto condos is probably foreshadowing what's coming soon. Prices are coming down for condos just delayed. House sellers seem a lot more realistic about current situations and are willing to lower prices to make deals, and that's why we've already seen price drops in recent months. This is also important. Sales on the house side has actually come up for detached homes, but there are even more sellers selling lately, and that is what's causing this side of the softer market. Yes, rents have come down from last year, but interest rates have also come down. Lately, we're seeing 4.6% for the best three-year fixed rates as of this week, and so this can translate to some pretty strong cash flows when you invest in Toronto multiplexes. And when we talk about multiplexing, Toronto's housing policy is also becoming a lot more friendly towards the missing middle. Basically, the government wants to balance out the density in the low-rise neighborhoods, which is declining, and so they are encouraging more homes to be created in houses. And this is another big factor that's going to continue to boost the house side. Nowadays, single-family homes can be converted into four units plus a backyard house as of right on every single lot in Toronto. Development charges are being waived in Toronto, saving you up to $250,000 just in soft costs. Parking requirements for new units are being eliminated in Toronto. Height requirements are becoming more lenient in Toronto. And here's the latest exciting potential. The city of Toronto might start to allow single exits for buildings up to four stories. And then city council updated it to up to six stories, which could significantly reduce construction costs too. Now, as we head into late summer and fall, it's crucial for us to watch how these factors unfold, especially in the condo market, which might be facing a deeper recession soon. Now, if you are looking to invest in real estate, we are entering a time with lower price risk for houses in Toronto because prices have already adjusted down, cash flows are looking strong, and future potential looks good. On the other hand, if you do need to sell your Toronto condo, you might need to rethink your expectations and strategy. Now, we will be monitoring these trends and provide updates to you as the market evolves. At our real estate brokerage, we specialize in helping investors navigate these challenges. Whether you're looking to sell your Toronto condo, buy a turnkey Toronto multiplex, or convert a single family home into a multiplex in Toronto, we've got you covered. Here's what we can offer. We'll meet with you to learn more about your goals and then give you advice on how to tell a good investment from a bad one and eventually help you find that perfect property that suits your needs. If you need renovations, no worries. We'll help connect you to reliable contractors and coach you through the entire project. 
If you want, our team can also handle renting out and managing your property too. Ready to dive in? Just go to this link here and let's chat.